Well, we're going to head our way over to the Edmonton Guitar Show. Um, just stopping for a bite to eat in Hinton here. Highway noise is polluting this video. They have no toilet paper in there, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, just a heads up. For those of you who have been following our guitar series, this video will softly conclude it. At the beginning of this series, we basically were having a competition between Mike and I on which of our designs was best. You will find out the answer to that question at the end of this video where we reveal the online results from our online poll and the in person results from the show. It may not have that fairy tale ending that you're looking for. We ended up with an extra day somehow, and uh, some things happened. Is there anything interesting that happened last night, Mike? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Someone got tasered outside of our hotel room at <laughs> 4 in the morning. We'll have to give a statement, right? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Actually, the, there's like four police in the lobby when I came down, and they were asking me if I was a witness, but that was a separately separate incident. So I was like, oh no, I didn't see any of that. So, change of location, Mike. Yeah, uh, so we're at a music store. <laughs> Do you want to talk about what's going on here? Yeah, so here's the top. Look at the green lines. It's like, uh, they're like a quarter inch. Yeah. Hi. Okay, any questions? So we just came from the music store. We uh, were scoping out our competition. No, they're actually not our competition. Yeah. But they sell, factory, they sell so. like, like Fender and yeah. A lot of Yamaha. You can't compete with that. Yeah. But it was fun to look and see what, uh, I don't know, just fun to play guitar. So that's what we did. It's good to get it out of the system the day before. I think I've played more different guitars today than I have in the last you know, like three three years, probably. Yeah. That's pretty uh, yeah. exciting. We were interrupted uh, there, but basically one of the guitars had growth rings that were like that wide. Yeah. And uh, I, yeah, I just. We don't even sell anything that like that. I just like. I think that tree was 15 years old when it was harvested. <laughs> yeah. I'm it's not like, sure. This is instrument wood. Yeah. I know. I know guitar factories are telling you that it's okay to use really like wide grain wood, and they're not wrong. Like, we can't be cutting down all the old stuff. But just so you know, I have really tight grain wood. I do have it. Yeah. So just, just buy it for me. Well, we, uh, we can see West Edmonton Mall, and we're just going to like go sideways through this park here. It feels a little bit like we're doing a tour of all of Edmonton's parks, but it gives us a chance to look at the reviews of parks and then put our own input in there. You know, a pretty nice open area, so I'd give it, you know, three and a half stars. But there's some garbage on the ground, so maybe three, maybe three stars. That just lost half a star. <laughs> well. Is that over the top? Not really. Do you order like? Uh, electric guitar? <laughs> a bender strap. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Very cool. Fancy yourself a race car driver, Mike? Yeah. <laughs> Bring it. <laughs> They don't have a helmet for me, so I'm just gonna have to risk it. He's I got this, this flyer, maybe yeah. this flyer looking. Yeah. Can I get you anything else? Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, can you tighten my helmet? <laughs> so we went into the mall, it was daylight, and then now it's dark out. It's dark. That's how much time we've spent there. Oh, we had a good day at the mall. Good day at the mall. Go karts. Go karts. Yeah, mini golf. Although I feel a little bit like we need one more match. Yeah. Tiebreaker match. Yeah. I was not gonna let Sarah sit in the back again. It just happened. Why does this keep happening? <laughs> <laughs> Hello! <laughs> <laughs> there was no other side. Oh, is that CBC? Guitarist over yeah, here? CBC. Yeah, CBC. Yeah. National. Mike was discovered in the background of a CBC interview. Yeah. And the show floor is open until 4 o'clock, so I watch the drive, so uh, make sure you stick around. 
So I just did an interview for another YouTube channel. How did it go? Good, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. I only had one minute where I was like, what am I trying to talk about? The rest of it was pretty good. What are we feeling for guitars? Are we gonna... Continue making them? Is that what you're <laughs> yeah. yeah. Are, we, are we gonna keep making them? Yeah. No sales yet. Definitely interesting. I mean, I feel like we got lots of positive comments. I really feel like. Oh, their encouragement was yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. Very encouraging. Nobody's going like, yeah, I'm humming and hawing over that. The purchase of it. We haven't quite got there yet. I uh, got one guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It was either uh, divorced or this guitar, and he was having a tough time. So. Yeah. Wow. No. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'd say that's, that's, that's pretty, pretty good. Awesome. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, David. Oh, wow. That's one vote for my guitar. <laughs> I thought it would be a landslide, but turns <laughs> out the jury is out on this one. <laughs> yeah. Mike, that just made your day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Different, but I like it. Okay. The people's choice seemed to be this guitar at the show, to be honest. This was a solid body guitar with plenty of epoxy in it. Reclaimed wood, white pine body, and it uh, had the most time into it. I think people can tell how much time you put into something. They just know. The head turner at this show was this guitar, and this definitely stopped a lot of people in their tracks. It has just a, some sort of a look to it that people like, or they just need to get a second peek at. This guitar also ended up taking the win on the online polls as well, and I think it's just the visual factor. It has a lot of um, rustic flair. All of our guitars were unique enough they would have stood out in a field of guitars in their own way. Mike's guitar was the positioning of his tone knob, volume knob, and all of his electronics that got people talking. And this guitar was the weight. Whenever people picked it up, they were just kind of blown away at how light it was. And then as they turned it around, they discovered that it had this whole back side full of color and character as well. The summary of this video is that we did not sell guitars. That did not happen. But I think there's still hope. Just because we didn't sell one today doesn't mean we won't, you know, in the next couple of weeks, so. And, uh, yeah, David had a conversation with a guy who brought guitars, and he said, oh, he never sells guitars at the show. Yeah, and he's a professional, so. Yeah. He's like, oh, you don't sell guitars at the show. So, you, yeah. you give away your cards, and then you make sales off of that, so. so we moved plenty of cards. Many, many cards. Were many cards, yeah. yeah. And uh, had fun. Saw yeah. people, made, made friends, did things. Some guy wants a custom bass for me, but uh, I don't know exactly who he is because I wasn't there at the time. Um, so we'll, maybe we'll see, maybe he'll get a hold of us. Yeah. If you custom want a custom bass. bass and you are, know what I'm talking about, just get a hold of us, you have a card. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in the next video.